Good morning, Dr. Glosser here at Homestead Orthopedics. One of the questions I frequently get asked when a patient presents with a knee complaint is, do I really need to have an x-ray or should I just have an MRI scan? Well, the answer can be complex and it really depends on the patient, their age, their complaint, what may have happened to them. And I'm going to illustrate a case today where a patient who came already with an MRI scan probably did not need an MRI scan. This was a woman who had had knee complaints for quite some time. She was in her mid-50s and she came to the office wanting for treatment for her knee complaint already with an MRI scan in hand. Now we're going to take a look at the x-ray of the patient I was referring to. This woman came to the office and with this complaint of knee pain on the inside part of her right knee. And right away what I see is that she has very advanced severe arthritis in this knee. I'll magnify it here. You can see what we call bone-on-bone -bone contact in this area. The other side of the knee is what is a more normal appearance, although that probably is not normal either. It may be just that the mechanics of her leg with the arthritis have the bone straight on the bone on the inside part of her knee. Well, a woman like this presented with a complaint of pain with the MRI scan thinking that maybe the MRI scan would be helpful in her situation. Well, yes, the MRI scan does give some further information, and I'm going to show that to you now. But the information really isn't necessarily diagnostic for my purposes. Yes, the MRI scan shows soft tissue, it shows the ligaments, it shows tendons, it shows the meniscal cartilages, but what we really see here, once again, is very severe arthritis on the inside half of this patient's knee. So really, arthritis is the problem that we're dealing with here. Not a sports-type injury such as a meniscal tear or ligament tear. And the answer for this woman is a knee replacement, either a partial or full knee replacement. Anything really short of that, such as an arthroscopy, is not going to give any lasting results. Now I'm going to illustrate a different case of a patient that came almost the same age, in his 50s, with a complaint of knee pain. This patient did have an injury and came also with an MRI scan of his knee. Here we'll see the differences illustrated. First I'm going to show you an x-ray of this gentleman's knee. It was his left knee, which is here. And his complaint was on the inside part of the knee in through here. Now in this case, I'm looking at an x-ray that for a 50-year-old hard-working gentleman looks relatively good. The knees, for the most part, preserved. The x-rays we take are what are known as weight-bearing x-rays. So he was actually standing when this x-ray was shot so that if there wasn't a narrowing of his joint line in through here or the other side through here, it would have been demonstrated. However, here it isn't. His joint space is, for the most part, preserved, but yet he has a knee complaint. Now an MRI scan is very critical to establish a diagnosis. So next I'm going to show you an MRI scan, some sections of his that he presented with. If we look over here, now this is actually a view from the side of his knee, but in through this area here there are lines running up in through what are known as the meniscal cartilages, which indicate that he has a torn meniscal cartilage in the back inside part of his knee. Now if I go to the outside part of his knee, here you see almost like solid black triangles and this indicates that that meniscal cartilage was intact. So in this gentleman's case, an MRI scan was very helpful because it helped establish what was known as a meniscal tear in his knee. And just to show another issue with an MRI scan, this is what's known as a normal anterior cruciate ligament. These fibers here, this here would be what's called the posterior cruciate ligament. And as I mentioned, in the MRI scan, it, this view happens to be shot from the side. So his main problem was of a meniscal tear, and he underwent arthroscopy with trimming out of that meniscal tear, and he should do well. And that today is the reason why I wanted to show some illustrations of why MRI scans are obtained, why sometimes they're not obtained, and why it's important for the doctor to be able to make that decision. Thank you very much.